Now let us at the beginning understand what the divergence word means. What happens in an upgrade? A price moves higher, higher and higher, making higher highs and higher lows. So the indicator or the RSI in this case, we expect that also to move higher, higher, higher in tandem. But what happens is that towards the end of an uptrend, the RSI fails to keep up with the pace of the price movement. It happens quite often. So in that case, what happens is that this is an early indicator which may result into a bearish reversal. So what is happening in this case? The price is making higher high, but the indicator is making a lower high or indicator is making a similar high. So the exuberance of the price movement is not shared by the indicators. So in a, such a scenario, if there is a break of the trend line, that is the uptrend line, and the price has started moving down, or there is a bearish reversal pattern, like a shooting star, a bearish engulfing pattern, or head and shoulder, anything. And if we see a bearish reversal pattern, and simultaneously, we see that RSI falling, and eventually there is a breakdown we can take that trade with a stop loss so this is a bearish example now what is a bullish uh, reversal pattern with the help of a divergence or bullish divergence the price moving down and down and down in a downtrend but the rsi is not making lower lows towards the end of the trend so the price is steeply falling but the RSI is making a higher low. So in that case, the price reversal with the help of a hammer, an inverted hammer, a bullish engulfing pattern, or any reversal pattern, if we see such kind of a pattern and eventually a breakout above that, we can take that trade with a stop loss and trail our trade with the stop loss. Now, let us look at both the examples. Here, we are looking at the LNT finance housing. LNT housing finance is the stock. So, as we can see in the daily chart, it had a very nice uptrend from 2017 beginning towards the 2017 November. But what started happening post July or from July is that thrice the price made much higher highs and the stock went actually a lot higher in these three months but three times the rsi made a lower high so this was an early indication so eventually when the upper trending trend line broke someone could take a short trade and see how beautifully the short trade had worked out in this case now this is a bearish reversal or bearish divergence example let us look at a bullish divergence here in the same year in 2017 initially the ONGC was quite bearish from the beginning of the year the stock went down a lot now what happened is that in the month of July a low was made and in the month of September another low was made at the same level so the price was at the same level but what we can see is that the RSI was making much higher low. So someone could have taken the long trade when the neckline of the trade was broken. The neckline of the double bottom pattern was broken. Someone could have taken a long trade and eventually the price moved sharply higher from that. So here again in this case, the bullish divergence helped us in understanding how to take a trade. So now we will look at how to use the 4555 band in the RSI and take trade according to that.